Right behind me is the Contemporary Resort and it is home to a restaurant called Steakhouse 71 and has the most priciest burger on any spot on Disney World property. And we will see if it lives up to the hype and the price. But first, we are at All-Star Sports Resort to try the cheapest burger on Disney property at End Zone Food Court. Although the cheapest on property, this is still a $12.49 burger, which makes it more expensive than Five Guys, which is known to be more of a place that considers itself a moderate chain fast food restaurant. This cheeseburger is topped with cheddar, lettuce, and tomato on a toasted broche bun served with french fries so i just sat down i got my cheddar cheeseburger this is a good seat very busy today there's a family playing like ping pong there's obviously like a big crowd in here too yeah so this is a good seat good stuff like i said earlier they really they, they really cook it you know it's not like the mcdonald drawers where they just pull it out like an envelope this is like real patty press on the grill broche bun toasted the cheeseburger doesn't look super good. It looks like the cheese melted off. I, I don't got any sauce, but luckily I got some barbecue. Got some honey mustard, the Heinz Disney. Not too bad though. Yeah, look at that cheddar action. These are your typical shoestring fries. Got a nice crisp to it, as you can see. Not bad. All right, first bite. I think the main issue with this burger is that it's too dry, not too much juice, which typically happens if it's cooked like too much, overcooked if you will. The buns, however, not bad. For some reason, I don't even taste the seasoning, even though I saw the chef pour seasoning onto the patty before he pressed it. So I don't know, like them cooking it, I was actually impressed, but now I'm not impressed after actually trying it. It's very similar to the cheeseburger I had at Restaurant Saurus, which we went there before. And yeah, I remember the issue is exactly the issues I'm saying today. It's just dry, not seasoned. So I'm probably gonna give it a three out of 10 because when you pay $12 for a burger, more than the price of a Five Guys or Shake Shack, then the grading scale becomes a little more strict. And unfortunately, that's why I'm giving it a three out of 10. Keep in mind that although that this burger was $12, which is typically more than and what you'll spend at a fast food joint it is still half the price of the burger we're going to try later in the video because the stack house burger comes in at a whopping 25 dollars compared to the 12 dollars that we spent today on a pretty mediocre burger i told you i'm not i'm not holding back we are here now at steakhouse 71 and boom they have the stack burger they're not saying this on the paper menu but it's a broche bun thank you i appreciate it I just got my diet coke wow, they filled it to the top this burger is $23. And look at this. Waffle well, fry. This $23 stack burger has a signature blend of beef, pork belly, American cheese, lemon aioli, red onion, house made pickles, served on the allergy friendly bun. The moment we all been waiting for. Roast bun, homemade sliced pickles. I'm eating it all. I'm not taking anything out. And look at this. Check this out. This is a smash patty. You can see the. You can see the crisp on the ends of the meat. Look at that. Actual condiments, unlike All Star. Do you need anything right now? Uh, I think we're good. Enjoy. Thank you. So normally, Disney World burgers do not uh, get a high rating from me. They usually uh, are not up to par. It's one of the rare things that Universal actually excels at. Uh, for example, the Wellington burger at Wimpy's, phenomenal. Will this beat the Wellington burger? Will this beat Wimpy's? All right, first bite, three, two. Take a look at that juice. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but you can kind of hear the sizzle. Phenomenal. This burger, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Down to the last minute detail the bun, the cheese, the pickles, even the onion. I never compliment onions. I'll take one more bite. Now, I usually never rate higher than a nine, and that includes alcohol and pizza, and I will still not rate this. Let me get two more bites before I get ahead of myself. Oh wait, I gotta try these fries too. It, it's important for the review. Here this crunch. Hear that? Pretty good stuff. 
Perfect crisp, perfect seasoning. Let me go back to the burger. Contemporary Resort Steakhouse 71. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Nice. A perfect rating. And one of the first perfect ratings on this channel because I cannot name a single flaw in this steakhouse meal. I was trying to find some for the fries, but I like the fries just as much as I like the burger. And is it worth the steep $23? Yes. Is it better than the Wimpy Burger? Yeah, not by a lot, but by a good amount. And I, I do wish that Disney World has more of these Stackhouse Burgers. Cause this patty, I have never seen this anywhere on property besides like Disney Springs. None of the resorts or parks have anything even close to this. Like this is a polar opposite to Restaurant Source's burger. It actually has juice, seasoning, great ingredients. And this is the most important part, not overcooked. There's a little bit of pink in there, a little medium rare. So yeah, like I said, perfect score, 10 out of 10. We're good. Gonna get you.